one major extrinsic motivator which could aid in increasing the enrollment of pupils at business schools in the country, but which most pupils doesn't have a school uniforms. Most pupils drop off from school due to the inability of their parents or guidance to provide them the uniforms. They are often the subject of mockery of their better endowed colleagues due to the worn out or tattered clothes worn to school. They feel shy, embarrassed, and quiet in the midst of their colleagues. Those who are unable to withstand the embarrassment drop off from the school. The situation is prevalent in the upper West region, especially in deprived communities. Concerned about the plight of these pupils, the District Grand Lodge of Ghana, also known as the Freemasons, came to their rescue by donating 1,695 pieces of school uniforms. The District Grand Master of the District Grand Lodge of Ghana, Isaac Owolaku Hood, accompanied by the supervisor of the Wa Bolgatanga and Tamil Lodges, Professor Edward Jadere, presented the uniforms to the Upper West Virginia Directorate of the Ghana Education Service to assist pupils at the business schools in the region. Last year, around this time, we were here to make a presentation to the regional hospital. On that occasion, I said it wasn't going to be the first and it wasn't going to be the last who will come again. Thankfully, by the grace of God, by the grace of the great actor of the universe, we've managed to be here this year. And I want to assure you once again that it is still not going to be the last. Chief Director at the Upper West Virginia Coordinating Council, Peter Mala, on behalf of the Upper West Virginia Minister, Thank the Freemasons for the kind gesture. School uniform has always been uh, a problem to many poor parents and uh, in terms of school attendance, especially girls. When girls are not well uniformed and they go to school, sometimes they get embarrassed. So we hope that uh, this support that you are bringing will go a long way to uh, increase enrollment in the schools and also maintain the children in the schools because when children look beautiful in their uniforms, they feel proud and motivated to learn. Select their pupils from the 11 municipal and districts in the Upper West Region will benefit from the uniform donation. Upper West Regional Director of the Ghana Education Service, Abdul Kora, pledged on behalf of the beneficiary municipalities and districts that the uniforms will be given out to the pupils who need it most. That the uniform given will be given out to people in need and then we are to ensure that they use them for the intended purpose. Two schools in the one municipal and what is district, Behe Primary and Sim Primary were the first schools to receive the uniforms. Their head teachers are excited about the donation. It will motivate these students, those that don't have to have the zeal of joining their friends because some of them don't come to school because they don't have the uniform. When they come to school, they see themselves different from the others. So now that they have gotten, it will motivate them to come to school regularly. Those who are not having uniforms, when they come to school, their colleagues mock at them. And due to that, sometimes they decide to stay in the house instead of coming to school. I'm sure once these uniforms have been presented to them, it will encourage them to come to school. Reporting for Joy News, Rafik Salam, BA.